Welcome to downtown Venice Farmer's Market. I'm gonna take you all around, show you what we got to offer. This is definitely one of the busiest ones we've ever been to. Yeah, it took us a while to even find a parking spot. Yeah, you can see it's just packed. It's late March right now, so there's definitely probably some spring break people in town that is contributing to the busyness. Oh, that smells amazing. Yeah, I don't amazing. know what it smells. I smell bacon and like I think it's there. croissants or something and all kinds of other wholesome good. One oh yeah, whatever this is, we might need to eat. Lots of wholesome goodness going on around Maybe here. Maybe we should get some Wisconsin cheese curds. We did that last time. We did a, <laughs> a vlog style video around here. And I think they're right here, straight ahead. Yeah. In the yellow truck. That's what made me think of them. These cheese curds are amazing. Oh, yeah. We've had them once. We might have them again. It might be worth it. The place looks interesting. They got European food. And the nice thing about Venice's farmer's market is, as we always mention, there's a lot of uh, people here, you know, that are like just on vacation, snowbirds, whatever, so they're in a very relaxed mood. So you get to meet a lot of people. People are very talkative that are from. Yes, everyone's in a good mood, trying to get fresh produce, yeah. which we might get some too. More Wisconsin cheese curds. But this is actually like actual cheese, yeah, not, not the, the deep fried, fried goodness. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's just a cool place to like meet people throughout the area that, or I should say that are in the area at the moment, but are probably from all over the United States. So definitely unique for that. French bakery. That sounds tasty. Almost gone, everything. It's almost gone. Yeah, we got here kind of like, ooh, they got guacamole. Ooh, that sounds good. With plantain strips. Really? Yeah. One thing that I think I've been oh, noticing. Look, they're doing face painting. Oh, that's fun. That's cool. One thing I've been noticing about the farmer's market here is it's definitely seems to be getting, I don't want to say bigger, but yeah, maybe a little bigger, but definitely busier. Yeah, like today is super busy. And there's just, yeah, more density. Like there's not any open spots. So you can definitely tell it's a growing thing. That's for sure. Yeah. Got fresh produce, of course, which that's crazy how you think a farmer's market and that's kind of what it should be, but. There was a little kid that grabbed a little cherry tomato and her mom, his mom made her, made him put it, put it back. back. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, they've definitely evolved from being just fresh fruit and vegetables to cheese curds, sandwiches, European food, face painting, all kinds of stuff. French bake. Ooh, dehydrated Goodness. snacks. Take a look at this. Pizza without a crust. Let me try one. That's a very good idea. Did you guys come up with that on your own? No, we're just all you bought it. So I bought the pizza without a crust. Well, I bought it's it. It's really but good. She's probably gonna eat most of it. It's basically tomato with the certain spices on it to make Toma it taste like pizza. It's tomato, garlic, sea salt, oregano, basil, and thyme. So it's really healthy. Yeah, really healthy and really good. It tastes mm -hmm. a lot like pizza, minus the cheese. So we have gluten-free. The happy pickle. All kinds of flavored pickles, Caribbean, Caribbean pie, pie company. company. Yeah, that's what I want to check them out. That's what we need in our lives. Oh, chocolate chip. Hi. Hi. Oh, Hi. Well. Good. How are you? Mm, tropical fruit key lime pie yeah, sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah. If the only difference of these two is just the glaze on the top. Okay. okay. The base is this one. They just put a glaze of raspberry mango and guava. Oh, raspberry wow. mango and guava sounds, sounds really amazing. Good. My my customer, if you're invited for dinner by friend or family, bring that one and then be sure. <laughs> Guarantee you they will invite you to buy Right. Raspberry, mango, and guava are like my three yeah. favorite foods. That, that sounds right. And passion fruit. Yeah, you got to get passion fruit yeah. on there yet. Yeah, that's all about presentation. <laughs> that free, that's one, yeah, that, that, that's like mini Okay. Can we get a mini <laughs> Sure. Yeah, that key lime pie is amazing. $5. So the key lime pie was so good that we got a little like single serve mini -mini. tropical version of it. We're supposed to be getting produce, not snacks. Yeah, we're supposed to be here getting healthy food, but we're kind of hungry and... I mean, it's key lime pie. We're not foolish. Yeah. You don't say no to key lime pie, especially when you're in Florida. Yeah. It's a sin. Mm -hmm. I've heard good things about their coffee. Really good things. 
We might need to get some of that too. Why, why is it good? It's from Honduras, that's why it's good. Well, why, what does that have to do with anything? Where are you from? Honduras. Oh, okay. German bakery. Yeah, yeah that looks amazing, honestly. Not that we need more snacks. Yeah, we've got enough carbs in our lives right now. <laughs> Dirty martini olive juice. So I just tried the key lime hot sauce, pretty good. And then the cherry hot sauce, also pretty good. Tasted kind of like... Um, cherry? Almost like buffalo sauce. But with a little bit of a cherry flavor, but I don't know, it's more of like a buffalo dip type thing. Or not dip, buffalo sauce. Look, I like this. A balanced diet, it's a cookie in each can. I love chocolate chip cookies, so. Oatmeal raisin for this guy, or peanut butter. Leave a comment, let us know what the best kind of cookies are. Chocolate chip, obviously. Oatmeal raisin for the win. Homemade low sugar jam. Chicken and sausage. I think we had paella? their paella once. Have we? Yeah. At the Chalk Fest Festival. Okay. Did we? I think so. I thought that was a different place. I think that place was called like, I can't remember. It was similar, but maybe you're right though. It does look similar here. Mm -hmm. Try a little sample? Sure, why not? Chicken and sausage? That sounds great. I'm the only rule if you're gotcha. video line or taking a picture, you gotta try a sample. I can be like it. Yeah, wow. Yeah. The like it's on you, I can't yeah. force that. I got a pretty good close rate. That's so. good. It's really good. It's gonna be Because I grabbed the phone, so now I get one. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Just videoing for friends or what? Uh, we have a local channel, well, Venice basically. Good? Mm -hmm. Really good. Really that sausage good. is amazing. <clears throat> it's got a kick at the end, but it's really good. Yeah, it's not too much. Mm -hmm. Cannoli on the go. That might... Maria's oh, Italian oh, It's kitchen. much more than cannoli, though. The cannoli over here, but look at all this over here, too. All kinds of goodies. So we came back and we're gonna get this. The sausage on it is pork, beef, and lamb, he said. So, interesting mix. That's clever. That's clever. Comes with chips and smells really good. You're gonna eat some? Yes. Are, are you though? Probably, I don't know. Slam beef and what? Pork and meat? The lamb, I'm not so sure about. <laughs> Give it a try. Take a look at what we got on there. The sausage things. The, what do they call it, tets, 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 sauce? Tets, I don't know how to yeah. say it, sauce. Some kind of a tomato sauce. Onions, spinach, pita, which is kind of a cheat meal thing for me. I'm supposed to be doing this keto thing you right now. You could wrap it in this so it doesn't fall over. I got this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. If you are looking to move to the Venice area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor. Give my information will be in the description box below. Phone number is then for 1221-1897. Call or text at any time. We're always going to have your best interest from Happiness 9 from buying or selling a home in the area.